Scott Anger, and welcome to your 12th Blender 2.6 tutorial in preparation for our um, game engine tutorials coming up soon. We'll be creating some boulders for our terrain. So let's open up Blender 2.6 to start. And we want to get rid of this default cube right away. Okay, so we're going to shift. A to add a mesh and we're gonna go down to landscape if you guys didn't this is the ant landscape if you don't have that still selected in your uh, add-ons you might want to go and re put that out on and click on it we're just gonna move this up and to start our little rock all we have to do is click the sphere and then it almost immediately will give us a uh, a rock that we can use. We want to uh, lower the subdivision so we're not using too much memory or space because not many games will have something that big. So 32, let's put it 16 subdivisions. And then you can just change the seed according to however you want it. Uh, you can make multiple ones of these also. Okay, now let's see, change, no, dimensions don't do anything there. Let's change this look carry, or look carry. Ooh, let's add in some interesting features to it. And depth, let's see what that will do to it for us. Increase the noise a little bit. Actually, we're just going to leave that at 1. Uh, hey, no. Okay, that looks like a nice rock there. Okay, I changed the, I think it was the offset that I changed. Zero linger. And yeah, okay. So I changed the offset. Just leave the sea level at zero if you want. Just however you want to make the rock. Okay. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode. Hit one five. Grab. And then we're going to put this right up where we want to cut off the bottom. So I'm going to hit Z and just move it up. And I think I want to cut it off right there. Okay. So we're going to hit A, Z to go in wireframe. And we're going to select everything below the red line. I'm just going to delete the vertices. Okay. Undo. Do select those two. Oh, no, didn't want to select that one. I wanted to do select that one right there. That's a problem with wireframe mode. So hit one, delete, delete vertices. And there we have our little rock that we can use. So, what we're going to want to do, let's go into back into object mode and see. It's looking pretty uh, good for our little rock. So what we want to do, we're actually going to file, save as, back, new directory, uh, rock, enter, rock, uh, double o one, enter, Save as Blender file. You want to do multiple and different types of rocks. Okay, let's just go into edit mode. A to select all. Okay, let's split area right there. T, T, uh, UV image editor. U to unwrap. And there we go to unwrap everything. It looks just like a circle, I guess you could say. But it's not, okay. So we want to 
file, export UV layout, rock double one PNG, okay. Uh, I want to create a new image. This be rock hold on. rock double one enter and you know yeah just leave it there because that'll be good enough for what we have. Then we're just gonna want to go over into object mode. Uh, I'm going to apply a world texture. Oh, hold up. Save as image. Uh, I'm save as this thing right there because we don't need the UV layout exported. Type image movie. Open, select that one, open image. We don't have the material selected, we need a material. And now we, we, we don't want this one, we want, we want this material one, new clouds, uh, not environment map, image mapping, open, just select that one, open image. Generate UV, go over here, texture, okay, texture paint mode. Now we're going to scroll up to the top of this texture paint, click here, new clouds, image or movie, and you can just use textures that you found online somewhere. Uh, make sure they're either listed as, under Creative Commons or something like that. And I'm going to find my rocks right there. And I'm just going to use this jagged rock one, I guess. That's my first one. Open. Uh, textures. Rocks. Jagged rock. Open image. Okay, there we go. Okay. So let's actually hit T so I can view this up here. Uh, I'll increase my radius. And I just want to cover this whole rock with that texture. And it shouldn't take all too long, but my lighting is going to mess up how this is going to work. Because it is applying to that whole thing there. It's just I can't see it with the, my lighting. I have. And should be almost done. Okay. Yeah. That happens sometimes. No. That won't work. Don't use that. that. That just doesn't work. Okay, I, I quickly want to get out of texture paint mode into object mode so I can add another light. Shift D so I can see everywhere I have painted and where I haven't. Shift D. Shift D. And let's shift D that again. Drag that up along the Z axis so I can see everywhere I actually painted. And now let's just go and click on that again and go back into vertex paint or, or texture paint, not vertex paint. You don't want to use. Okay. Oh, I know what my problem is. I want uh, to bring up N, and I believe for display, you're going to want to switch to GSLS or just GLSL shading. And that'll basically cover up everything you need to get done. Just cover up what's left over here. 
And essentially all you have to do is just layer the materials like we have in the other tutorials. Alright, well, I think I switched that back to multi texture. That looks better. There we go. And just blend them together so that it looks a little bit more realistic. And then just add them together. Well, I'm going to continue making these. I, I would advise you guys to make multiple ones of these so you have multiple different types of rocks instead of just one type of rock. Because that looks really weird in the game. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll continue to make a couple of these. And I want you guys to make at least two between now and the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please leave a comment or something behind. Thank you.